What's up, y'all? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You know, this is Bruja Africana coming to you all with a reading, a summer walker reading, and we're going to get right into it. Going with our theme of, you know, why the darker skin and brown skin girls are expected to be hot and tots. And we talk about one of our favorite hot and tots, summer walker here. Summer is in the same space that she's always been, looking to attach herself to anything that draws her attention. That is her purpose in the industry, to um, perpetuate the image of the baby mama, the multiple baby daddies, the heartbreak, the drama, the, the, the no motions outside of a man. This is her purpose. She has no intentions on changing it, you know, um, and she is a part of the gross sister um, clique. I call her Sexy Red and Sukiana the gross sisters and not shitting on them for their skin color or nothing because we're all the same color. And I'm speaking me as in skin you with the three of them. But um, I call them the gross sisters because they have no um, shame in doing the things that they do. And Summer is not away from that. She comes in with the moon card showing that she's still very delusional about the things that she has going on. Um, Summer spends a lot of time with her head up her ass or her heart and her pussy, and she lamps a lot. She um, is a hopeless romantic, um, and she doesn't mind that if having a baby by every man that she has a sexual encounter would happen. She's not, she's okay with it or has a relationship with, because I mean, I'm sure she has her little pieces that she ain't had a baby by, but these behaviors need to change. Summer changes herself. Just if she changed her behavior as often as she changed her outward appearance, she would probably be tolerable or palatable. Here she is with the four swords and the death card showing up, meaning that she is willing to uh, let whomever in the industry change her life or do changes on her body, if you will, or suggest changes so that she can continue to be that person, that it person. Summer also comes in with the uh, attention card and the snake card, meaning that she will do anything for clout as well. She uses her relationships or this is basically her um, offer. She has to portray her relationships publicly and she has to do stupid things such as jump in and out of relationships, have a baby by every dude that she's in a relationship with and pretend that she's so in love and all the while continuing to add to her single motherhood. That 10 of cups showing up shows, yes, she's happy with the family. Yes, she's happy with having children, but is this truly what Summer wants? Her handler is Erica Badu. So her status in her life is to make sure that she perpetuates the image of the um, girl who has a baby with every man that she's in a relationship with. And they are um, disguising it as this is a version of love. This isn't. This is Summer reaching out for help, if you will. The industry has... Um, convinced her that her regular self, her normal self that came into the industry wasn't good enough. They convinced her that she needed a man behind her, which is why she switches men so often. They have convinced her that, you know, she has no worth or no motions outside of these men, which is why with that lover's card showing up in reverse for her, she has no friends in this industry. She, um, is not necessarily relationship material. And she's fine with that because that helps her stay popular. Her inability to stay in something solid is a part of her catch too. Summer is showing up with the queen of cups energy. Um, she's got a lot of secrets about these people in the industry. She's got a lot of secrets surrounding her own career, but the problem is summer is easily led. She's still at the place of being easily malleable with that seven of cups showing up on her. She's delusional. She um, likes the gifts. She likes the idea of being the girl chosen for exactly what they're having her do. That two of wands, um, page of wands and seven of wands, um, excuse me, seven of pentacles showing up on her. She's pouring extra energy into um, being a buffoon. That personality card showing up is actually people laughing at her. Like I said in the Sukiyama reading, it's not people enjoying your personality. It's people laughing at you. 
And sooner or later, Summer is going to take on another young person and she's going to become their handler and she's going to teach them too how to get this sneaky money. She's going to teach them or she may be teaching your daughters or your gay sons. This is how you're supposed to move in this industry so you can get some money. Summer hasn't put out um, a lot of music lately. It's because she's got to fulfill that part of her contract of being that multiple baby mama image that they need. you Not multiple baby mama, multiple baby daddy image that they need to continue to perpetuate. She is a part of that clique of girls that um, signed that portion of the contract. And this is allegedly to degrade dark and brown skinned women. And I know y'all like, oh, she doesn't act like that. She isn't this. She isn't that. Well, tell me what that was when she was um, shitting on Jess Hilarious or calling herself shitting on Jess Hilarious. If she was not part of the um, or if she was not, let me put it like this. If she was not cool with being one of the people that's tearing down black and I mean, dark and brown skinned women and perpetuating the image that we can't be loved or we're hard to love or they come with multiple babies by different men. If she were not cool with that, she would not be doing it because Summer does say no a lot often, more often than I expected her to, per her cards at least. But she says yes in an equal amount of time as well. So it's not even a thing of Summer being balanced. It's a thing of she's okay with being pulled back and forth. And she sees no issue with this as long as she can get a bag. She, too, is one of the girls that will do anything for fame and fortune, not necessarily fortune. She enjoys being famous a lot more than she enjoys being rich. If she were able to balance the two out, then she would be OK with it. But she still wouldn't put down her stance on making women of uh, brown or skin hues in the black community look bad. Summer Walker has her purpose, too. She is a the image of the bitter, broken baby mama, the loud bitch, the bitch with all of the kids that's outside party, and this is her purpose. And just think about it. How many girls do you know? And not to say that she's responsible for it because bitch has been having babies since the 80s and the 90s, but we're speaking current times now, in the present day. How much have you seen single parenthood um, increase? And you see them referencing Summer Walker as their their, their inspiration, not just because to have babies, but as an inspiration to who they are. Just think about that. All right.